More Threads, a brand owned by a former teacher and Black American freedman, use their apparel and more to teach hidden truths and Black American history. More Threads will address the lack of knowledge and negative images in our community. Check out www.morethreads.com to purchase our apparel, read thought-provoking blogs, and more. Sign up to have raw conversations and wear clothing that acknowledges, celebrates, and honors our lineage at www.morethreads.com. Peace, family. My name is Vicki Dillard, and I'm pleased to be a contributor here on African Diaspora News Channel. Please make sure that you support our network by giving us a big thumbs up, thumbs up, and share the broadcast. Thank you so very much. Now, family, surely by now, many of you may have heard about these L.A., um, uh, city council persons, which were Hispanic, Latino, um, a secret leaked audio showed that they were using all kind of anti-Black racist discriminatory language, mostly against Black people. But there were some other people groups that seemed to have been involved in some of the audio that I heard. But I don't want us to lose this major point of what uh, caused them to be irritated during this particular leak in the first place. I'm reading from this HuffPost article. After this uh, Nuri Martinez, former president, city councilwoman, she stepped down now as president, uh, as uh, the president of the city council. She stepped down um, before she issued her resignation and uh, her apology. It was revealed what happened in the first place, why this was happening in the first place. The audio rep reportedly involved Martinez, council members Gil Cedillo and Kevin DeLeon in Los Angeles County Federation of Labor President Ron Herrera. The council members were expressing irritation about the maps proposed by the city's redistricting, redistricting commission. According to the LA Times, they wanted to quote ensure that heavily Latino districts did not lose economic assets. Let me hurry up and tell you why this matters to us, Black family. This is the reason we demand they cut the check because the dominant society and other people groups recognize the power of economic upward mobility, economic power. When you have economic power, you automatically mitigate educational disparities, crimes, uh, criminal disparities, the prison disparities, from family uh, domestic problems and disparities with the families. You automatically eliminate uh, health disparities, uh, some of the health disparities. Many issues that happen can be traced to direct economic disparities. When you look at even wealthier black neighborhoods, middle class neighborhoods, crime is almost as little to nothing. But when you go into the um, economic, uh, economically deprived areas, that's where you see high crime. This was the exact issues that other people groups went through throughout this country. Other white groups had high crime, crime rates until America gave them government jobs. They made them police officers. They made them firemen. There's always a direct economic issue. We, who are the true founding mothers and fathers of this country, who are responsible for inventing this thing called the United States of America, have not received economic justice, not one red cent. Run us our money. And in this Bruhaha that's happened here in LA amongst the Hispanic community shows you exactly why we need reparations. They were concerned about the Latino community. They wanted to quote, ensure the heavily Latino districts did not lose economic assets. Don't you forget that. You know we're going to stay on this story. My name is Vicki Dillard. Be sure to subscribe, obviously, here to African Diaspora News Channel and subscribe to my new a live weekly uh, channel at vickydillard.tv. My, uh, my website information is below so you can check out my services and products there. I can't wait to see you again.
Make sure you pick up my two books that's in Amazon right now. The first one is Passive Aggressive Racism in the System of White Supremacy. And I talk about in that particular book, how the system of white supremacy really runs and on our daily lives here in America. In our latest book, Seven Steps to Decolonize the Mind, we go through those steps to try to deprogram you uh, from the system of white supremacy. Make sure you can pick up those books on amazon.com.